the Storm Team Forecast with Carson Vicroy. Continuing to track this area of high pressure over West Texas, but there are indications that it's not quite as strong as it was last week. The first clue of that is we've had rain the past couple of days. The second indication is what's going on in the panhandle at the current moment. Lots of activity there and eventually I do think we'll start to see a few more showers and thunderstorms here in East Texas. Now we're not seeing a lot in the way of cloud cover right now, but that will start to change. Let's go ahead and pause future cast for you at one o'clock. Notice these winds are starting to strengthen just out to our west. They're not going to be quite as strong here in East Texas, so our rain chances, while they will be there, they're not going to be as good as what they were the past couple of days. But nonetheless, future cast still picking up on a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms. Again, anything that forms will be relatively weak to what we have seen, and we're not expecting any severe weather. Through 5 o'clock, though, anywhere along into the east of Highway 69 sees the best chance of rain and this will continue until sundown before all of this pushes off to the east as it weakens. Now as we go into midnight, just a few clouds then and as you wake up tomorrow morning, we're really not dealing with much, just clear skies and temperatures in the 70s. So our temps right now are in the 80s. It's 83 in Tyler, 87 in Linden, 85 in Longview. So middle 80s right now, I do think we warm up, but as we do, our dew point factors are going to get a little bit higher. Still relatively dry to what we've seen over the last couple of days, but once again, it's still going to be hot. It's still going to be humid because our temperatures, they will be in the lower 90s. Pretty typical for us for this time of year. Again, I've included about a 10% chance of showers and thunderstorms and then 71 degrees tonight with a few passing clouds, especially before midnight. Now over the next seven days, I don't have rain in the forecast tomorrow, Friday or Saturday, but for your Father's Day, especially Father's Day afternoon, that's going to be our next best chance of rain and that's going to get us into Tuesday as well. In deep East Texas, I really don't have much of a change between the difference in East Texas and deep East Texas, but expect temps in the 90s with chances of rain here and there. Cynthia.